Good morning students. Hope you all are fit and fine. So I am also fine. Okay. Hope you are enjoying your holidays. Huh? You are enjoying now? Okay. You are enjoying? Okay. Absolutely you are enjoying your holidays. But we remember now beta. We don't forget to study. So let's come for study. Okay. I welcome you all in my maths class. Everyone take out your maths book. Today we are going to start chapter number 12 that is money. Just tell me one thing. If you buy something you love, you like. So what do you do? How do you buy that item? Huh? Anyone knows that? Yes. Yes you. Tell me what? Oh money. Very good. You know now. If you buy anything we love. If you want to buy anything we love. We want money. We want this money. Okay. So by the help of money we buy things. So students, today I am going to tell you a story on money. Okay. Once upon a time, Sarah had gone market with her mama. So there, her mama wants to buy fruits and vegetables from the market. So she had given money to the shopkeeper. So Saira asked her mama, Mama, you have given money to the shopkeeper now? Her mama told, Yes. Whenever we buy something from the market, whenever you wants to do, wants to like anything and you wants to purchase it, then you have to give money to the shopkeeper. So Saira told her mama that Mama, I also want to buy chocolate. So her mama told that, Take money and buy it from the shopkeeper. So Saira took rupees 10 from her mama and bought this chocolate. So Saira got very excited to see that when we give money to the shopkeeper, then we receive anything we want to buy. Now you got it the story now? Now you understood the money? So, whenever, now you got it, whenever we want to buy anything, what we need, what we need is, tell me, very good, very, very good, we want money for that. Students, tell me one question, okay? Tell me one question. Have, has your parents saved money? Yes, your parents saved money now. And the same money, where will you deposit? Where do you deposit a safe money? Anyone knows that? Yes, your parents, your grandparents. Anyone go to the uh, go to any place for deposit? Deposit? Anyone knows that? Where do we deposit our money? Yes. Yes. Very good. Very good. Yes. Yes. Hey. Yes. Students, let me tell you one interesting fact about a 
Fine, you know that. Yes, animal knows that. No one knows that. Okay, let me tell you. A coin has two sides. Okay, a coin has two sides. A coin has two sides. These are heads and tails. These are heads and tails. A coin has two sides. These are heads and tails. These coins. Rupees 1 coin. Rupees 5 coin. Rupees 2 coin. Rupees 10 coin. Rupees 20 coins. Okay, got it? Have you ever seen rupees 3 coin? Yes. Have you ever seen rupees 3 coin in your mama purse, in your daddy's purse? No, no. There is no 3 rupees coins. There is no 4 rupees coins. In our country, India, we are only using these values coins. Okay? Let me show you the original notes. See, this is 50 rupee notes. Okay, this is 20 rupee notes. This is 10 rupees note. This is 200 rupee note. This is 500 rupee note. See, are you able to see that? Rupees 500. This is 200 rupee note. See, I have so many rupees. Whenever we write any number and here like this. We write 50, only 50 but this is not rupees. If we write not rupees here then it will not be money. When we write here rupees 500. So it is our rupees 500. Now it will be called that it is the money. Got it? The symbol is very very important to form a money. The symbol is very important okay for to make it the money. Got it? Students you got it all of you now? Students do you know that how many paise are there in one rupees? Anyone knows that? Yes. No one knows that. Okay, let me tell you. Rupees 1 is equal to 100 paise. So it means that there are 100 paise in 1 rupees. So our 100 paise is equal to 1 rupees. Got it? So class, now we are going to learn how to count money. Okay, anybody knows that? How do you count the money? Yes. How do you count? Yes, yes, yes. Hey. Okay. Let me tell you. See. In first A part, in part A, our topic is counting money. In part A, there is how many coins are you seeing that? Yes. How many coins? Number of coins are you seeing here? Here is four coins. One, two, three, four. I am talking about the number of coins. Not the value of coins. I am talking about the number of coins. Here is one, two, three, four. So remember this. First you have to see in step one. Then you have to see here is number one. Here is rupees one. Here is also rupees one. Here is also rupees one. And here is also rupees one. They are all of rupees one coin. Yes. Here all the values are same now. So how will you count? How will you count it? Anybody knows that? Anybody knows that? Okay. Your teacher will tell you. See. First of all, in step four, we have to count the coins. Like one, two, three, four. How many coins are there? Four. See. So I am writing here, okay? Four coins are there. And the value of the coin is? Value. The value of the coin is rupees 1. Very good. The value of the coin is rupees 1. So, in second step, I will multiply this with 1. Number of coins? 1, 2, 3, 4. Here is 4. And the value of the coin is 1. So I will multiply 
the number of points and the value of the point. So it will give us four. So I am writing here four. I have written four here. Is it right? Is it correct? Yes. Who will tell me that whether I have written correct or not? Yes. Observe it. I have written four here. Four. Is it correct? Yes. Yes. Very good. Very good. Keep it up. Keep it up. I have written wrong. Why it is wrong? Tell me why it is wrong. Yes. Yes. Because I have not written here the symbol of rupees. Yes. I have not written here the symbol of rupees. So it is incorrect. Because I have not written the symbol of rupees now. So it will, be, it will be a digit only. It is not the money. It will be only remain the digit. When I put here rupees sign. See. Like this. Now I have written here rupees. Symbol of rupees here. So now it will correct now. Now it is money. Everyone knows that. Got it my point. Now it is money. Rupees 4. Now you can say very correctly that it is rupees 4. Now we are moving towards part C. Because it is the same denomination now. See the A part is of same value. 1, 1, 1. Same value. Same value is final there. Huh? And C part also same value is fine here. So we are doing this. Okay. See. 5 rupees fine. Rupees 5. Rupees 5. Rupees 5. How many times will rupees 5 come here? 3 times. Here. 3 times. Okay. And the value of the point. What is the value of the point? That is 5. So I write here 5. So what will be the answer? Yes. What? 50? No. Very wrong. It will be rupees 50. It will be rupees 50. See. Is it correct now? Is it correct now rupees 50? Now move towards the D part. That is T. Rupees 2 plus rupees 2. How many points are there? 2 points. See, number of points. At first we write the number of points. And what is the value of the point? That is 2. That is 2. So, what will be our answer? Yes, rupees 4. Very good. Now you all got it now. When we write the money now, then we have to write what? Rupees sign. Got it? We have to write rupees, the symbol of rupees before the digit, before the number. Got it? Now moves toward the B part test, that is the different value of points and notes are here. See, first the note of 100 plus. Now moving towards part B, here are C. Rupees 10 note are there. Rupees 5 coin, rupees 2 coin, rupees 1 coin. Are you observing one thing here? Yes or no? Who are saying no? Yes, who are saying no? Who are saying yes? Okay, you are saying yes now? Yes. What are you observing here class? See, what are you observing here? That there are different value of notes and points are there. Huh? There are different values of Coins and notes are there. So how will you add all of them? Huh? How will you add? You will add by First of all, you have to put the higher 
value, note or coin. Okay? Like this. You have first written pen here. The higher value. Then the lower value, 5. Then the lower, more lower value, 2. And again the lowest value that is 5. So, 10 plus 5, 15. Plus 2, 70. And plus 1. That will be 80. That is 80. Am I correct? Yes. Some students are some, saying something. Yeah. What? Are you saying something? Yes. Oh, I am wrong. Okay, I am wrong. Why I am wrong? Okay. Ma'am, you forget to write here rupees. Okay. Very good, beta. You are observing everything now. Very good. So, write here what? Symbol of rupees. What, are, what is there? Symbol of rupees. This is must, must, must important to write the symbol here. If you don't write the symbol, then this will be incorrect. Got it my point? If you don't write here symbol of rupees here, it will be incorrect. Okay? Fine. Now you got it now? Now you got it. How to add this? Let's recapitulate which we learnt today. See, today we learnt about money now, where we keep our save money. Yes, what we need when we, when we have to buy anything which we like. Okay, when we like anything, we want to buy anything, we need, yes, we need money. Okay, we need money. So, today we have learned that the two forms of money, two forms of money that is one is coins and the second is notes. We have studied, we have learned two types of money now, two kinds of money. One form is coins and the other form is notes. Got it? Everyone got it my point? Everyone got it? How many forms of money? Two. How many forms of money? Two. One is coin and the second is notes. So, in our country, there are two types. These are coins. Very good. And these are notes. These are coins. And these are notes. Okay? Got it? These are coins. See? These are notes. So, in our country, we are using coins and notes. Coins of different values like rupees 1, rupees 2, rupees 5, rupees 10, rupees 20. And the other one is notes. We are using how many types of notes? How many values? Rupees 50, rupees 20, rupees 200, rupees 100, 10, rupees 500 and rupees 1000. And also we learned that what is the symbol for the rupees? This. Rupees is the symbol of money. As we learn that in coins, we have two sides. One is heads and the other one is tails. We learned that. Everyone knows that. Yes. Everyone now knew that now. That we have learned two sides. One is heads and other is tails. And we also learn then there is rupees 1 is equal to 100 paise. Rupees 1 is equal to 100 paise. Got it my point? Everyone knew that? Now all of you understood what I learned, what we learned today? As I told you that this is a symbol of rupees. Okay, of rupees now. So whenever we write any number, any number when we write and if you do not put here rupees, then it will not be our money. But, but when we put, when we put rupees before this number, so the rupees sign will make it the number money. Got it? The sign 
the normal digit normal number to money okay got it